Alright, so uh, let's talk about Tarzoon, Shame of the Jungle. So, uh, this is uh, another X rated movie. Um, yeah, um, and it's uh, a French Belgian production. Um, well, uh, let's just get right to the <laughs> plot. So, <clears throat> you know, we got this uh, parody of Tarzan. Um, although, for some reason, they never use the word Tarzan. I, I think, um, <clears throat> yeah, I think this is kind of like an alternate title. I think the movie's properly just called Shame of the Jungle because the character's name is Shame, not Tarzan. So, yeah, Shame is uh, Tarzan you know, uh, knockoff, I guess, a parody of Tarzan, um, and he has a wife slash girlfriend gets kidnapped by these, uh, penis monster thingies, and, uh, yeah, mutant penises, uh, that are led by this, uh, evil queen who looks like a bald Maleficent or something <clears throat> in like a red dress so yeah uh, so yeah it's up to Shane shame to uh, you know rescue his girlfriend so simple story but you know with a lot of uh, really crude R-rated humor um so yeah, this isn't uh, this isn't exactly mainly about uh, you know I wouldn't exactly call this a pornographic movie, unlike the other ones. Like it's not f focused heavily on the sex, but you know there is a lot of nudity. Like you know uh, every couple seconds, like. Uh, the main character's loincloth gets pulled down, and you see his buttocks and his his penis, and it gets there's like a lot of gags of the penis getting stretched. I know I'm pushing the uh, YouTube community guidelines by saying the p word over and over again, but it's, it's hard to not say it in this review. Um, because they're everywhere in this movie. Um, <clears throat> and, yeah, the uh, love interest character spends pretty much the entire movie naked. Like, she'll wear, like, a loincloth around her waist in some scenes, but that's about it. Actually, it's kind of weird how she, like, <clears throat> she's, like, completely naked when she gets kidnapped, but, like, then she's on an operating t table and her loincloth is magically back on like who went through the trouble of putting it back on that's that's what i want to know um and yeah the villain is you know this uh like i said she kind of looks like a bald maleficent in a red dress and uh you know she wants to cut off the love interest hair um so that, you know, she can have hair. Um, and, yeah, by the end, her dress comes off and she's revealed to have, like, multiple breasts. And, yeah. Um, but, yeah, aside from those uh, little, uh, you know, jokes about nudity, um, there's not really much focus on, you know, sex in this movie, despite... Well, you know, it's there's definitely some aspects to the plot that involve sex, but uh, that's not the main focus. It actually focuses a lot more on, like, shock humor, um, um, you know, and uh, a lot of gore, actually. There's, like, yeah, there's some uh, pretty shocking, gory moments, and... Uh, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty gross. Um, this movie is not for the faint of heart. 
Um, and, uh, you know, like I said, there are these uh, penises, these, you know, penis henchmen of the villain. And, uh, yeah, they... They shoot um, acid semen. Oh, God, this movie is so... Or this video is so gonna get flagged. Um, so... Yeah, and... There are so many gross moments in this. It's, um... But, yeah, um... I did watch the English dub, um, but, uh, you know, it does have some pretty amusing gags here and there, like, you know, when it's not trying to be overly shocking, there are some jokes that are kind of funny, like, you know, the villain can be pretty funny with, uh, some of her lines, and, uh, you know, she has a, uh, two-headed scientist that, uh, yeah, also, you know, they bicker, the two heads bicker with each other, and uh, they got some funny lines as well. Um, you know, there, there's some occasional amusing little jokes, but yeah, most of the mu movie is just gross-out humor, which might appeal to some people. I'm not going to judge those people, but yeah, it, it doesn't work for me. I'm not into that kind of stuff. I mean... Okay, I love it when it's done, like, really well, like, with South Park. Um, you know, some, yeah, some shock humor can work. It's just this one didn't work for me. Um, and, you know, there's all these other offensive jokes. Um, like, it seems like literally every black person in this movie, because it takes place in Africa, and... And, yeah, we got all these big-lipped, you know, tribesmen who are, like, they got, like, the big lips, and, you know, they're drawn like they were in the 30s or something, and, <coughs> and yeah, they're all offensive stereotypes, and then there's, uh, this one black guy who's with this, uh, you know, uh, uh, this, uh, expedition group, um, and, uh, you know, he doesn't look as offensive as, like, the tribes folk, but, uh, you know, he still has, um, yeah, he still talks really offensively, and, uh, I think all of these characters are voiced by white people, like, yeah, in fact, Christopher Guest, probably, well, <laughs> I'll get to the, uh, cast in a moment, but, uh, um, I don't know, it, it's very, I mean, no, they don't treat the women all that dignified or anything, it's, actually, nobody's really that dignified in this movie, everybody's kind of an imbecile. Yeah, no, that's kind of par for the course with these movies, um, but yeah, for this uh, English dub, there are some notable voices, uh, mainly uh, with the... Yeah, it's got a couple of uh, Saturday Night Live alumni. Um, the movie was originally released in September 1975, so that's like, like a month or two before... Uh, or like pretty much a month before SNL premiered. Um... But uh, the English dub was uh, four years later. Um, it was uh, directed by, uh, let me see, Anne uh, Beats. Is that how you pronounce her name? Um, she's, yeah, I believe she's an SNL alumni. Um, and uh, Michael O'Donohue, who was definitely with SNL. Um, and yeah, there's some uh, pretty notable you know, SNL cast members who, uh, you know, have some pretty small roles in this, nothing major, um, so, yeah, first of all, I brought up Christopher Guest, he, uh, voices a couple characters, he seems to have the most roles in this one, um, <clears throat> he, uh, but, yeah, he seemed, 
it was probably him voicing all the, like the really offensive black characters to be honest um or i don't know at least some of them uh and then let's see brian doyle murray voices one of the uh yeah one of the scientist heads um and even bill murray uh brian doyle murray's brother brian doyle murray's more famous brother i think you might have heard of him um he has a role as reporter now i didn't recognize his voice anywhere i can't even remember a reporter character so yeah i yeah i didn't catch his voice anywhere and i can't yeah, I can't find where it would appear, so... Yeah, I guess uh, this is one movie where I'm not going to know where Bill Murray was. <laughs> yeah, Lord knows uh, we could have used a bit of his humor. And uh, speaking of funny SNL cast members uh, from the early 70s seasons, John Belushi makes a cameo as a uh, character named Craig Baker, who's like a really talkative frat boy and uh and you know this was obviously like right after he did animal house um and you know the character eh, the character wasn't uh that funny but like belushi definitely like put everything he had into the dialogue that the character says you know the character's just kind of chatting and chatting um belushi at least uh puts on a funny performance with, like, the unfunny dialogue. Um, um, but yeah, there's uh, one other notable um, cast member in this movie, and he actually voices the main character of Shame, uh, Johnny Weissmuller Jr., who is the son of Johnny Weissmuller, who was the original Tarzan, or, you know, the, the most famous Tarzan who played uh, the character in the uh, 30s and 40s. Um, so, yeah. Um, and I think he did a pretty good job with the role. I mean, he's... I mean, he talks in the usual me Tarzan voice, um, or, you know, me shame, you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, I think he did a good job with what he was giving. I think everyone in this movie did good with what they were given. Um, or, you know, all the cast members. Um, yeah, the voice actors. Uh, but yeah, at the end, all I'm really going to remember is, like, an over-the-top, disturbing, gross movie that, uh, yeah, with, uh, yeah, lowest common denominator humor. Well, that's just my opinion, but still. Um, and, yeah, I, I guess there is a charm to this movie. Um, so, you know, it's got a cult following, and, yeah, at the very least, I can see a bit of the charm, but it's still just a little too gross for me, and, uh, so, I'm conflicted. This was at least better than uh, King Dick, which, you know, I didn't hate either. That one at least acknowledges it's a dumb movie focused on sex. This one has slightly better humor for the most part, and, uh, and you know, for all the gross stuff in this, I, I guess nothing's as gross as watching... Um, or, you know, there's nothing in this movie that's as gross as watching, like, a dwarf screw a, uh, you know, an ugly old witch, and, uh, you know, both of them, like, enjoying it and crap. That, yeah, that scene was horrible. Um, but, uh, it's interesting, and there's some funny moments. Oh, yeah, by the way, uh, Tintin makes a little cameo in the movie, because it's, uh, you know, Belgian. Um... It's like a little gag where Tintin is like, you know, being a missionary and he's like trying to, and he actually beats this tribesman over the head with a cross and because he's like trying to 
teach them Christianity, you know, that missionary joke. So yeah, I guess that might have been something that Tintin was notorious for, you know, white boy going around, you know, you know what I mean, but just thought I'd bring that little gag up. Um, but yeah, overall, I found this movie pretty dumb. Um, I'm gonna give it a 4 out of 10. That being said, if you are, if you think you can stomach, like, all the gross-out stuff and, you know, all the offensive penis jokes, um... Yeah, all the offensive stuff in this movie. Um, then, yeah, feel free to check it out. It's it it might amuse more you more than it amused me. So uh, yeah, if there's anything else I feel I need to add, I'll put it in the comments. And I'm just gonna leave it at that for now. Match it and smash it. Signing off.